Hey guys, happy new year. Uh, it's time for resolutions, obviously. Check out my video from yesterday if you haven't seen that. Um, and I also think it's a good time to uh, admit when we've been wrong. And so that's what I'm doing here. I'm gonna go through uh, the videos from 2015 and uh, point out the times that I was wrong. BT cotton, which is a cotton that has been genetically modified to produce the bacterium BT, produces the protein, not the bacteria itself. That would be pretty amazing. Uh, I am still a speciesist. I would choose the baby over the puppy. So I misunderstood the definition of anti-speciesism as I explain in this video. Uh, basically, I took it to mean that all beings have equal worth in terms of uh, moral concern. They're all equal so that there is no difference between choosing, uh, you know, a baby or a puppy. Either one doesn't matter. And this is false. All anti-speciesism means is that species is arbitrary in terms of moral concern. So choosing the baby over the puppy isn't necessarily speciesist. It only is if the reason for doing so is species is because the baby is human. It's wrong to say that animal products cause cancer. As I spoke about here, I was wrong to say that it's wrong to say that animal products cause cancer. Uh, it could be right to say that animal products cause cancer, but it depends on what you mean when you say that. Um, and it's important to qualify that claim because otherwise you could end up uh, being misleading and appearing dishonest, which is not good for veganism. Certainly, certain animal products cause certain types of cancer, processed meat and colon cancer, and based on certain factors, methionine content, antioxidant content, fiber content, etc., uh, animal products taken on the whole are likely more prone to causing cancer than plant foods taken on the whole. But it's really important to be clear that you're talking about a spectrum of risk, as I talk about in this video. Correlation does not imply causation. This is misleading because it implies that causation can't be or shouldn't be drawn from correlations. If this were true, then we couldn't say that smoking causes lung cancer or that processed meat causes colon cancer, since both of these findings are based on observational data on correlations. For more information on how causation is determined in terms of nutrition and public health, check out page 60 of the World Health Organization's report, Food, Nutrition, Physical Activity, and the Prevention of Cancer, A Global Perspective. I'll have the link in the description. Yes, I saw the doctors that Ryan quoted, uh, all undeniably biased towards vegan, towards plant-based diets. It was unfair for me to say that the plant-based doctors that Ryan quoted in his video uh, are undeniably biased. Uh, they may be, they possibly likely are uh, biased in favor of, you know, plant-based and vegan diets, but there's no way that I could possibly know that for sure. Now, certain plants have been genetically modified to produce the bacteria themselves. No, no, Swayze. <laughs> Again, it produces the protein that the bacteria produces, not the bacteria itself. And that's it. That's all of the mistakes, I think, at least all of the mistakes that I made in 2015. Uh, yeah, I hope you guys like this. I think it's a good idea in the same vein of that video I did, I believe in 2014, the I was wrong video. Uh, I think it's a good thing to do for everyone to do. So I challenge you all to admit when you're wrong, to start the year fresh and to absolve yourself of all your sins. Hey, if you're a YouTuber, do a YouTube video of all the times that you were wrong. It's, it's good. It's a good way to start the year, I think, in addition to resolutions and whatnot. This could be one of your resolutions. It's pretty cool. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, obviously you can leave them down below. If you want to share all the times that you've been wrong in 2015, leave those down below. Uh, if you want to subscribe, of course, subscribe. And if you want to support me, you can do so at patreon.com slash unnaturalvegan, or you can do it right here on YouTube on my channel page. Thanks again, guys, and I will have a new video very soon.